This video sucks to make. There was a lot of speculation last night on whether or not it was true, but it was sadly confirmed earlier today that Johnny Gaudreau and his brother Matthew were killed after being struck by a Jeep last night while riding bikes around Salem County, New Jersey, where they're from. Johnny was 31 and Matthew was 29. The driver of the vehicle was a 43-year-old man who was detained under the suspicion of being under the influence, and he failed sobriety tests and was charged with two counts of death by auto. And if he was drunk, I feel as though he should get the book thrown at him. Drunk driving is truly unacceptable, and especially at 43 years old, he should have known better. Drunk driving is one of the stupidest things you can do, and it often affects innocent people who have nothing to do with the reckless decision made by the driver. It's not just a dangerous mistake, it's a selfish act that endangers everyone on the road, including families, children, and other loved ones who might be victims of someone else's irresponsibility. And in this case, Johnny left behind his wife Meredith and his two children, a one-year-old and a six-month-old. Matthew was also married and a father. Both also left behind their mother, father, and sisters, one who had her wedding planned for today, Friday, August 30th. So what was going to be one of the happiest days of her life is now turned into a nightmare. Johnny played 11 seasons in the NHL, 9 with Calgary and 2 with Columbus. He tallied 743 points through 763 games, winning a Lady Bing for his sportsmanship and playing in 7 All-Star games. Along with his NHL accolades, he was an All-American at Boston College while winning the Hobie Baker, and he holds the U.S. record for most points and assists in the Men's World Championship. But outside his achievements on the ice, Johnny's going to be remembered for how great of a husband, father, son, and man he was. The Blue Jackets released a statement earlier today saying how Johnny always brought a genuine love and joy for the game. Almost everything you read about him puts his kind attitude, infectious spirit, and great personality over his hockey skills, which speaks volumes about his character. Every year, he would host a golf tournament to raise money for scholarships so kids can enjoy the same education he and his brother did at Gloucester Catholic Memorial High School. So, for the next 30 days, the profits from this video will be donated to their high school, as that was something that Johnny was passionate about. His brother Matthew also pursued hockey as he was a 2017 BC graduate where he and Johnny overlapped for a season. After that, he played four seasons of minor league hockey, including parts of three seasons with the ECHL Worcester Railers, and 21 games in the AHL with the Heat and the Sound Tigers. The response from fans and media has been amazing. Multiple athletes from other sports have reached out and sent their condolences, and fans have been lining up outside Nationwide Arena to lay down flowers and anything else that reminds them of Johnny. I send my condolences out to the Goudreau family and everyone involved. Blue Jackets fans, I'm truly sorry. Goudreau was brought in to be your franchise guy, and he would have been a great player in person to build your team around, as I'm sure he would have been an awesome mentor for the youth movement. It's been just three years since you guys lost Matisse, and now Johnny. My heart goes out to the Blue Jackets organization and the fifth line. Rest in peace.